Ladies, gentlemen, and goobers of all ages, I am happy to announce that I have officially come out of retirement, and I will now again be gracing your phones, your computers, your tablets, whatever it is you use to stream wh whatever it is that I make. I'm back. I'm gracing your screens once again, making silly little movie review videos, and I know it's been a pretty long time since I've made a video, so I thought it only fitting to make a video about the one thing that took longer than my comeback, which is Francis Ford Coppola's Megalopolis. Whoa! So, little background about um, this movie. It has been Francis Ford Coppola's dream project for the last 40 years he's been trying to make this thing happen. And what was his dream uh, was my nightmare because it was horrible. I hated it. Um, this guy, he's been pitching this to anyone who would listen for 40 years. Nobody wanted to make it. So he decided, you know what? I'm going to finance it myself. We do that for 40 years and then we die. Sounds like a pretty good deal to me. What do you say? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I hear you, Squidward. I'll be right back. So we actually sold off like a bunch of his stakes in his wine company to raise 120 million dollars to make his dream project which is actually pretty impressive i do gotta commend him for that um but you know behind the scenes i guess with this movie francis ford was being a little a little kind of icky um and based off of some tiktoks which we can all agree are some really reliable sources and you have to take it as fact um but he would like grab women from the set and crew and like make them sit on his lap or he would like try and kiss um female extras who were like topless which is not the best behavior for a director to have for his cast and crew you got that right they won't have you back at green grove tony she was abusive to the staff but you know really getting into my thoughts i i really i did not like this movie um i went in with really high expectations. I was really wanting to like it. I was hearing that it was really good from some people and really bad for others. It was a very divisive movie, which is why I wanted to see it so bad. Uh, there was people coming out of this movie saying that it was a 10 out of 10, one of the best movies ever made. And I, I cannot fathom how someone would see this movie and think that it was... That, that it was phenomenal because it wasn't. It was straight up doggy doo-doo. In my theater, there was people behind me that were booing after this movie. I've never seen someone boo in a movie. I've, I've seen people clap when they like it, which that's weird too. But yeah, they, they were saying, boo, this movie was straight up dog shit. Direct quote from the man two rows behind me. Professor! Oh. Step back, I think I'm gonna vomit! <laughs> Uh, getting into the quote-unquote plot of this movie and the characters, the main guy is, his name is Caesar, played by Kylo Ren himself. You might have seen him from memes and whatnot. And he has discovered this material. It's like a building material called Megalon, which I thought sounded like a Pokemon, but I guess it's not. Hey, this is um, editing Zach. Um... As I was editing, I realized the reason Megalon sounded familiar is because he is a Godzilla character. So he's like a bee man with drills. Just wanted to add this in. And this Megalon can adapt and change into whatever he wants. And he wants to take his Megalon. He's an architect and he wants to create a, a better city for New York. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I say New York? Sorry. No, I meant New Rome. Um, it's basically New York, but they... They kind of have like a, a Roman Empire filter over a few scenes. So that is, that's happening. And so Kylo Ren is, you know, making, making some buildings and stuff. He's some grand designer, but uh-oh, who's getting in his way is the evil mayor. I don't remember his name, but he was Moff Gideon, Giancarlo Esposito. And he was getting in his way because he didn't want... He didn't want Kylo Ren making making Megalopolis great again. I don't know. It really didn't make a lot of sense. Sir, if you have a complaint, I suggest you submit it through our email system. I would be happy to refer you to our website. Um, And there's so many other characters in this movie that just, they don't really matter. Um, If I was making a, a, a Glendo cut, I would remove 
probably two thirds of the cast because I I just didn't think they were necessary. But kind of one of the only other major players that was kind of relevant was Shia LaBeouf, who spent two thirds of the movie just kind of being drunk or high and wearing a dress and was just really just kind of being a weirdo for most of the movie. Break down the element of components of energy on a single constant K rate, extrapolate for each of the 14 galactic converges took the Sentinel Prime expedition receiving echo. Echo on his. He's, he's Caesar's cousin and he's really rich and he was trying to make like this pseudo revolution happen for New Rome and he wore a gladiator fit that low key kind of went hard but he he wasn't that important either but he was more important than the other people i guess um i mean that's just kind of how shia labeouf is though he's just kind of a weirdo so there's that and so one of the things that i really i i didn't like about it was the movie would go from these somewhat grounded scenes and then there would be these kind of dreamlike sequences if you could call it that it just it it was just kind of changed the entire movie for just a few scenes and i'm like what am i what am i watching and i know there's going to be some people out there who are like um actually it's it's a symbolism and you just don't get it i get it i get it and it was a bad movie and it it shouldn't have been made and it wasn't worth it and like the effects for these kind of like surrealist scenes kind of looked like doggy doo-doo like it it didn't really look that good a lot of golds going around here especially with the megalon um and there was this whole thing where i i forgot to mention this um caesar kind of has time powers and telekinetic powers where he can like freeze time and then there was also one scene where he could just like move objects with his mind um so he has these powers but then like they, they're really not that important to the movie. And I mean, if I was making a movie where the guy has telekinetic powers, I feel like I would have him use that power more. But it it just didn't really make sense as to why he could do it. But he did it. There you go. Reminder that I have psychic powers and abilities. Uh, like I said earlier, this takes place in a... Uh, a New York-esque city called New Rome and it was kind of cool there was like a gladiator thing and I was like okay I, I can see the Roman aesthetic but then it just kind of forgets that for most of the movie and it it just kind of forgets that it's supposed to be like this it, it's kind of like a mix between a utopia and a Roman Empire kind of merged but then they just kind of forget and then like every once in a while they're like oh oh yeah it, it's Roman um throw up a, a someone wearing a Roman costume I guess I don't know um which was just kind of annoying I didn't like that this whole movie to me was kind of like a roller coaster because I went in and I I had high hopes I really wanted to like it and so the first 10 15 minutes I'm like oh okay I'm into this and then it just started getting weird and bad and I was like I I don't like this I like it but not a lot I don't like it and then it would kind of get good again and I'm like okay okay and then it would get bad again and like I would probably say around like the hour and a half mark I went to use the bathroom and I was like okay it's almost over and then when I got back I was like oh my gosh this still has like 50 minutes left and it's not a good 50 minutes um and I really was just like upset that it wasted my time because it was it was trying to be something super cool and it just fell flat and people kept on hyping this up and so I was really disappointed with it um, you know I I used my Regal Unlimited membership shout out Regal Unlimited please throw me a sponsor um, and so I didn't pay for this movie because my membership did only $21 a month or maybe more now I don't know and anyway, so I didn't actually pay for this movie, but the two hours and 20 minutes that I, I, I lost of my life, I can never get that back. And I will never forgive you, Francis Ford Coppola, for making me watch Megalopolis. More like Megaslopolis, because this was messy and stinky. Um, so yeah, in conclusion, I did not like Megalopolis. Um, I'm making videos again, so like comment subscribe share with your friends you know if you, 
I'm just I'm trying my best here, guys. Uh, also, go check out your book or mine. Uh, it's a podcast on Spotify. You can also check out their TikTok because they post videos from their podcast. Um, cool group of ladies over there talking about books, and you know, just wanted to give them a shout out. Okay, hi Tatum. Uh, anyway, that's it. Bye bye. Happy birthday! Yay! Please, can. Bye.